This is tutorial number 30, and it covers how to make your own thread within SOLIDWORKS. To start off, let's open up our brand new part file, click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now, making your own thread in SOLIDWORKS is important if you need to make it to your own specific geometries and specs. So to start off, let's just make the body of the screw. So let's click Sketch, click Circle, click the top plane. Now let's click the origin and let's make it 10 millimeters in radius. Click OK. Now let's extrude this out 100 millimeters. Click the isometric view. Now let's make the head of the screw on this face. So let's click the face, click tools, click sketch entities, and let's pick the polygon. Now we're able to make a six-sided polygon, so we're making a hex on top. So we'll click the center point, pull it out, and let's make this 35 millimeters. Click OK, and let's extrude this up. Let's extrude it up 20 millimeters. Click OK. So now we have the body of our screw. Now we need to make a reference geometry on the bottom. So let's click the bottom face, click Insert, click Reference Geometry, click Plane. And if you look on the front view and zoom in down, right now our reference geometry is below our part, but we need it to be inside of our part. So let's reverse the direction and accept it. Now let's zoom out. Now click Plane 1, click Sketch click sketch. Now go to the bottom of the screw and click the circle. Now click convert and now you can see that we've converted the bottom circle up to our plane that we've created. Now click insert, curve, helical spiral. Now let's look at the front view and you can see our helical spiral that we're creating. So let's make the pitch 20 and let's make it go 4 revolutions. And the start angle, keep it at 0 degrees so that we can use the right plane. Click accept. Now, now on the right plane we're going to create a sketch that follows this helical curve all the way up. So let's click sketch, click circle, and we're going to make this circle at the very point down here. You're going to find the point once you have that coincident point with your pointer. So let's click it and let's make the radius 3. Click OK. Now click OK. Now to cut the drawing that we just made to follow the helical curve, click insert, click cut, click sweep, now click the circle, click the path, and now it follows that path. Click accept, and now we've made a thread. Now we're still able to go in and manipulate this thread even more. So let's open this up, and the helical spiral, click edit feature, and let's make the pitch 10 and let's increase the revolutions to 8. Click accept and now we've got more threads. And now the sketch that we made before, let's edit that sketch. Click smart dimension, click the circle and let's make it 8.5. Click accept and you can see Now with these tools, you're able to customize the threads exactly to how you want it and to your specs. And this concludes our tutorial on how to make a thread in SOLIDWORKS.